Hey, here we go. We're live. Uh, please pop on and say hi when you're here. I'm doing a second video this morning because I promised that I would show you how to make these little guys. So those of you who were registered for On Stage last week, um, I sent everyone a little gift and in that little gift package was some goodies. You can see some of the goodies inside here. And um, also um, these little boxes themselves. So I think they're really, really cute. I love anything with polka dots, so that always makes me very happy. Good morning, Lynn. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you how I made them. They're really, really simple, very easy. I'll pop this into the holder, the phone into the holder, so we can get started. So give me a second while I do that and switch the phone around. Okay. You'll be able to see them down there. Okay, so here they are. I think they're really, really cute. All right. Um, so the theme last week for on stage it was on stage at home okay so that's why i've got little houses on here little homes okay and they're from the trimming the town paper dsp and i've cut them out so now let me show you um how i have done it you will already have all your pieces but if you're watching this and you didn't attend and you don't have the pieces really really easy to make up the main thing you need is the boxes themselves and we sell these these are the three and one eighth inch square acetate card boxes um, there's 10 I believe in a pack let me double check that yep 10 in a pack and they're very very cool so they're in our current mini catalog sorry annual catalog in our big catalog not in the mini and all you need to do to put them together they're already pre-scored all ready to go you just sort of push the box into shape just by folding along those score lines fold these little tabs in now the only one that I find difficult to fold is this one here at the back so what I do is I actually kind of push it kind of pinch it into into gear from the outside and then that makes it easy to push the tabs in so we're actually going to make up the box first making up the, the beginning of the box push the tabs in Fold the score lines and then pinch this one here at the back. There we go. And your box is done. You don't need any any adhesive or anything. It just goes together. Isn't that cute? Alright. Then we've got all these other little bits and pieces. So these are what I've used. I've used the square vellum doilies. I've used some of our trimming the town. DSP, but you could use any paper you like. I just have a thing for red and white polka dots. I always think they look cute. There's little Christmas trees on the back. You might prefer that side. And that's going to go in the center of my little vellum doily so that a bit of the lacy edge of the doily sticks out from behind. And then you can see very simply, I've also cut out some of the little houses. Now, this is actually the paper that I've cut it out from. So let me quickly show you the dies. The dies are the Home Together dies. I love these. I have used them so much. You can see mine are all over the place. This one is the one that cut out this little house. So you've got all your little different size houses, but some of you will have ended up with these little tall houses, and some of you will have the little small ones. The little small ones I've got on this one. See? It's a cute little house in the middle of the, the glittery circle there. Okay, so that's where those came from. I think they're super cute. And from this paper here, there's the paper with the blue stripes, blue and white stripes. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this together. I think you can just use whatever adhesive you have because it's going to be hidden by this piece anyway. So you could use, um, I'm using seal, but you could use glue dots. You could use whatever you like, really. And then I'm going to pop that in the middle. Of the front whichever side you think is the front and it doesn't matter if there's a bit of glue sticky on there because we're going to cover it up with this one so I'm just going to stick that straight down over the top so let's pop that straight on and it just sort of goes almost to the corners but not quite because we've got a bit of that lacy edge sticking out from behind and then on top of that, the next thing I put down was this um, glittery 
Uh, this is the Balmy Blue Glin Glitter Paper or Glimmer Paper. I just love it. And I've cut out... Now, this is the largest circle from the North Pole Wonder Dies. Okay, so that's a different die set. But you could use any circle. You could even use a punch if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be this one. And I'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals behind here. And that's going to go into the centre. Just like that. Right. So then you've got your houses, okay, and they're going to go on top of that. Now this particular house, you don't get a lot of the glitter showing. It still looks lovely, whereas the smaller ones or even the taller ones, you get more glimmer paper showing because the houses are smaller and don't cover up as much. But just for this exercise, I'm going to pop. You could just uh, glue dot that on if you want to, or you could use more dimensionals. Totally up to you. I'm just going to throw a couple on. Blue dots are fine too. If you don't want it to be too, if you don't want to add too much dimension, then don't. Just use glue dots. Right, so just like that. And then I put the whole thing together with some ribbon. Now, the ribbon that I've used in the ones I sent out is from the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack. I don't have any of that left because I used them all up on this. And some people may have also ended up with some of the white or gandy ribbon doesn't matter what ribbon you use today I'm going to use the polka dot the polka dot ribbon and this is how you'll have a length of ribbon I'm just using one straight off the roll but you'll have a length in your packs all right so let me so you put it over the top and then you flip it over and then you crisscross it at the back like this And we're going to turn that back over again, flip it back over. And I'm just going to trim, cut mine off the roll. Right, then I'm going to do like just a knot. But I want it to all come together in the front. So when I do my knot, I also will pop it under the ribbon from before. So that when I tie it together in the middle... It's all tied, just like that. I didn't worry about doing, um, it's a bit hard to see the polka dot ribbon. I probably should have used something a bit brighter so you could see, but I hope everyone sees. So I've just tied it in the middle there, and now I've got my two loose ends, and I still have this little guy, this little, um, this is also from the North Pole Wonder dies, and when you, when you um, cut it out with the dies, it actually has the hole already in it. You don't have to put the hole in it. That just That's just there. So I'm then going to thread that. And once again, that other ribbon that I've given you is easier to thread through. You could use the point of your scissors to push it through if you like. That can make it easier for you. There we go. Just like that. And then I'm just going to tie another knot. Now, one thing I will say about this polka dot ribbon, it holds together really well because of the polka dots. They actually stop it from moving at all. And then you can just trim it off. Now, if you don't have the polka dot ribbon, that's fine. Just use whatever ribbon you have. You could even change the color of the ribbon. If you don't want white, you could have red or whatever color you would like. And the last thing that was in your little packs is this little velvet, red velvet heart. Okay. Now, I popped that straight onto here so there's no stamping in this project it's just putting it together really um, you could use stick this attached with, with any adhesive you like with glue dots or whatever just for fun today I'm going to use mini dimensionals because they fit really nicely behind there I uh, quite like my little heart popped up a little bit but it's totally up to you you can attach it however you like and pop it there in the middle just like that and then we have a cute little gift box this one looks a bit different with its polka dot ribbon I actually really think I prefer the, the solid white ribbon, but totally up to you. Um, they all look good. There you go. There's a few different versions of the same thing. Of course, the ones that I sent out will also have these little goodies and bits and pieces in, but um, anyone can make these, and they're great for Christmas gifts. You can put a gift card in them. You can do all kinds of bits and pieces with them. They're fun for little prezzies. So I hope you enjoyed them. Um, 
and I will be back with more stuff for you guys soon. And thanks for being part of On Stage for those of you who are able to attend. It was a fantastic event. I'm so glad that we got to do it together. Have a great day, guys. Bye.